this is a show about um, finding sort of meaning and purpose in mundane situations throughout life. Uh, I was at the bus stop writing ideas for this podcast, um, and a creative type approached me. He seemed like a wanderer. He seemed like a guy who knew about romance and life. And I could tell this because he was playing the accordion. Um, his name, I'll let him introduce himself. He was helping himself to making a grilled cheese in my in my studio here. Hello. Grilled cheese are great. I love grilled cheese. How did you find the, the kitchen and the, the atmosphere when you walked in? It seemed like uh, you had a backpack on when you know you were skateboarding over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's kind of heavy, so I was like a little back heavy. So like when I'm skateboarding, like I'm pushing off. I'm like, oh. But anyway, once the studio got in, made myself a grilled cheese sandwich. Um, I forgot if I asked permission or not, but it doesn't matter because it was a good grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, casa su casa, brother. I mean, you know, you exactly. Gotta, we want if you to feel welcome. Thank you. I was just real hungry at that time, so you just got to do what you got to do. You know? I didn't have any guests, but once uh, you know, we got in the conversation a little bit. We were talking, uh, Chris and I, and my name is Chris too. I guess I should have mentioned. I'm that. Chris, and he's Chris. And I'm Chris too, and this is exactly how we started off that interaction. So, very uh, awkward. The weirdness, you know, emanating from that is going to set the tone for the rest of the show. But we're going to get serious a little bit because, you know, I could tell from the moment I laid eyes on this guy, uh, he was going to probably be my co-host forever because he's literally the only only guy who gave a shit about the idea. Yes, I'm going to get like exactly two bucks in revenue a month for this. Yes, he's going to get paid in, in dividends for my IPO for this, oh, this yeah. organization. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what that means, but I'm going to get money. <laughs> yeah. He's not so. getting paid, but he's going to get a lot of uh, mutual knowledge and experience. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that, but I... Anyway, <laughs> what is the what is the this, this show again called? Uh, it's Locker Room Talk. Locker Room, okay. So... That sets of a couple things. When when I think locker room, I'm thinking like boys locker room, even girls locker room, and then you're just talking about gossip or they're just talking about like secret, not secretive stuff, but like stuff you want to share. But it's like ooh, you got yeah. you spill the tea, mate. Oh, are we British? That I don't know. You know, we <laughs> could be in locker room talk. You know, they'd be playing rugby. And they'd, and, they'd be, and they'd be talking about uh, high society uh, things. High society. But in America, horse polo. <laughs> you know, everything is so self-driven in this country yeah. that we talk shit about uh, each other. You know, we talk shit about the opposite sex. Uh, Chris is right, though. When you think about, like, conversations in locker rooms, we think about, like, men talking about things that seem toxic in life. Could be. Um, and we also think of, like, women gossiping about uh sort of the same the same sex in a way and the opposite sex both genders do it but uh we want to take a, a look at the other side we want to look at uh things through you know um the other gender's heels if, if you want to yeah put it that way well we'll definitely be open for both um like uh what is it called to both genders or genders um like we're open to like all of these perspectives but or as all you these could, genders as well as right. you, as you could tell we're only two guys um so i mean we're gonna have a little bit bias but everybody has bias in anything if you're living right now you have bias so it doesn't yeah. anyway that's off the table now we're good <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it's we have biases but we also have uh i feel like maybe a little bit of a color perspective maybe some things that have been brewing in our minds that other people can relate to yes and we we want to talk to people you know we want to talk to everybody who who might be feeling this way but we can only start with uh getting a foothold in in issues that happen through personal experience agreed um that is very true so that's a very good I'm glad you said that because then we could transition to your 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 experience or story, which um, I'll just let you have it. Yeah, man. Uh, I was at work, and this is the kind of job where it's a very male dominated, you know, because it's uh, physical labor, and you know, a lot of these kind of like blue collar jobs tend to hire guys and you know young men in their like 
18 to 25 age range. Yeah, it's uh, okay. Yeah, like a packaging. Place. Yeah, we're gonna. It's a place where Solid Snake, uh, you know, got his, you know, his, you know, his startup. His little box. <laughs> yeah, we worked at this uh, very uh, inconspicuous and innocuous packaging company, where <laughs> the people, where you know, I'll give them credit for hiring more, um, you know, women like, oh, okay. as employees. That's I funny. actually know somebody who was working alongside me, a coworker who managed to become a supervisor. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, this is a, like off track, but I will get back to it. Like we sort of didn't have like a very, I wouldn't say a good rapport, but just not like a friendly rapport or just like kind of like one that facilitated like friendly banter, I guess. Mm. Cause like we had known each other for a while and I had a thing for her and oh. then told her about that and then you know months later she becomes like a supervisor and i feel like the whole dynamic is like very much uh different now and that uh it's better okay because i just feel like it's um like the past was in the past like i was able to accept it and i'm the type where you know i'll think about interactions i have and like what i can do to better myself to like handle them better later that's fair and you know, the thing with, uh, the thing with people is that like, oh, if it doesn't work out with one person, you could always try it with somebody else. Yeah, exactly. So coworker, you know, happens to be a uh, female ends up, you know, kind of having like this interaction with me where, uh, I forgot like what the details were. <laughs> okay. You know, um, I end up like saying something that she finds funny and then, you know, that kind of like trope Ooh. of, uh. <laughs> yeah, we we need a soundboard later for this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Dude, when I tell you how I, like unexpected this was, uh-huh. she had just done this like typical kind of like, oh my god, dude, that was like kind of funny, uh-huh. but ended up, you know, really rubbing up on my back Ooh. and, uh, you know, back rub, back scratch. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the funny thing is, is that I asked her what she wanted to study for, and she said she wanted to be like a masseuse. A masseuse? Yeah, like a parlor, like a parlor masseuse, kind of like. That ties in really well then. I did not know that was a degree <laughs> field, uh, and the applicability like shown through on this, wow. this day right here on this do, show. Do you think she was practicing on you, or was it something? You know, we had talked about it before, and uh, you know, something like. Oh, this is healing energy, you know, I Ooh. feel like it, it felt uh, very sensual, I'll be honest with Ooh, you, and, no. like, you know, sort of spoke to a little bit of, like, my personal problems with uh, double standards, ah, and, like, the yeah. role of, uh, you know, like, just the the way I, I sort of, like, reacted to it, mm-hmm. which was very, like, nonchalant and 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 accepting, but not sort of uh, recipro- like reciprocating her in the way that like, oh, if you thought about the flip side, if she was doing that and I was like, you know, feeling up her hips and then mm. like the smaller of her back, which she ended up doing, like sort of going from the top down there. And then like I, you know, flew, you know, my flight or fl- my fight or flight response sort of kicked in and I went back to work just because I didn't want to be doing anything else. Like it was, it was kind of busy. <laughs> But then I sort of had this, like, internal excuse, like, do I, you know, like, should I have, like, shown a little bit more, like, attention, or mm. do I kind of pick this up as a signal for something? Ooh, it makes yeah. me think of, like, further questions, like, do I want to get involved with anybody from work? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, th- I definitely feel that, but, like, you first said, like, double standards, right? So, like, I think that's really interesting, like, um... I mean, you're a guy, and that was a woman, you know, touching you a little physically, a little bit more than you thought, yeah. right? Which is interesting. Like, well, we could go into that and in saying that, well, well for I you, mean, it's yeah. like, this is actually kind of nice, but at the same time, it's also uncomfortable. Yeah. To other situations, it might be just fully uncomfortable. But, yeah, I, like... <sighs> In a situation where, like, I thought, like, it was organic enough to where... Uh, yeah. I, you know, I don't think context. it was, yeah, the context was, you know, and I think I reacted in the right way, like in, the, in so. the context yeah. that like, you don't want to be, uh, 
because I don't think I, I, I would see anything like in the future immediately with like somebody, you know, I sort of talk to <laughs> on a regular basis. Place. I mean, it could be anywhere. You Love know, and it's, anywhere. that's the thing though. It's like with meeting somebody from an institution, you can meet somebody anywhere, but it's like, yeah. I feel like there's more, uh, you got your job in front of you as well. Yeah. But I feel like if there's like, if you meet somebody out in the wild, like there's no like common kind of like bonding, oh, like yeah. bondage to come back to every day in case things don't work That's out. That's terrifying to me. Every, <laughs> every day, like yeah. this stranger could be like the next person I know for the rest of my life. Or just for those five seconds I meet them. Yeah. Honestly, and this is just scary because, like, when you confront somebody like that, um, you don't know a whole lot about each other, right? You don't know too, too much about her? Yeah. Not that close? Well, no, it's, I feel like it's definitely, like, a systematic thing where, like, you know, you start, like, pretty friendly with, like, benign topics that don't yeah. How reach is the that weather? far. <laughs> oh, man. Starting with weather, you know, is sort of like, I've actually kind of been proud of myself of not incorporating weather, at least in the beginning of like the first few interactions with somebody, you know what I mean? Actually, the first time we talked, she had mentioned like the mas masseuse thing. And I had said like, oh, it's so funny how this circles back because Ooh. I was just like, oh, I don't know about how I'd feel about touching other people like that. <laughs> you know, and you then think that like, spirals into something else. Yeah, right? it literally happened. But Ooh. Mixed feelings. I don't know. It's it's just sort of like yeah, weird yeah. because it you know you don't it doesn't happen often. But mixed feelings is like a really good way to put it because you're just like it's just this bag of like feelings that you just come in and you're like oh because eh, it, because ooh, it's whoa, like something mm, like that uh, can something like that dude like triggers um, some sort of it's, sensation. No. Yeah, that and also thoughts of like oh well you know like. This does. This hasn't really happened to me, and this must be evidence of something that I'm doing right Ooh. in life. And but it could just be like a one-off thing, right? right? And you want to really treat yeah. it that way. Yeah, I feel like because you don't want to think like this person touched me on my shoulder, maybe a little bit on the back. Automatically, I think we could yeah. have a five-year relationship beyond that, and marriage <laughs> and kids, and then we'll die happy. Oh and God! Yeah. <laughs> and then if you're sort of like the more perverted type, you don't want to think oh, immediately like, oh, hell yeah, yes, yes, I'm gonna finger bang that this girl. Too. This fucking <laughs> that is so true. On our ten ten minute break, we have ten minutes. At oh this oh job. oh! You don't think I can just get right that, under that the table, with, kind yeah. of thing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, under, under the table where you, you, you look up and you see gum fucking in your eye oh, vision. It's and, perfect. Like, yeah. um, the ambiance. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just thinking this is a little off, but like, what if it was like, I think it was like some sort of um, screenshot I saw. Censor, because I'm not a perv. But like, it just popped up randomly you in my feed. You inspect element and, and you remove the censor. It's, it's like, like, um. Oh, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> no, but uh, I don't think that worked. But, like, uh, there's, like, a cash register at, like, a grocery store or whatever. And then underneath is the other person doing the you-know-what. So I was thinking something like that. Anyway, that tur that took a turn. But that's okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> Mixed like that. feelings. <laughs> it's like the yeah. Mile High Club for, the mi yeah. for retail. Yeah. Uh, personally, I get a little uncomfortable with sexual stuff. But this show will incorporate that, so I'm like, you know what? Yeah, this I'm show might go so far as to have live sex on it. I don't know if you've signed up for this, but Did I that was just something I workshopped in my mind. I want you to play the accordion when when this is going on. That I could do. And I'll play but a guitar. naked and can... might be a little bit. Oh, no, we, we weren't going to do like a... How low could accordions go to like somebody's height where they can reliably Whoa. play it and cover their junk? It, you could... I mean, you know how like guitar solos, they sometimes lie on the ground. But beep, 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 beep. Yeah. I you could do that with the accordion. I've done that a few times. So I'm pretty sure... Sh... I mean, it doesn't go too low, but you could lower the straps. So sure. just, like, uh, yeah, that's like... <laughs> Oh, uh, it was just, just fucking like bend over there it and goes. Have, it, have it like. Uh, uh, at first, I, mean, I was you're... thinking like, how low can the accordion go? Like, like musically, I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, it could go like two. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, uh, interesting. God, this just makes me think of like, you know, who's the guy that gets the most pussy ever at a party? Who's doing like a what Chad? is that? Yes, and his name is the guy who. This is the name of the guy who plays the accordion of uh, and a song that goes like. How low can you go? 
can you go down and look? And then it's like, I keep forgetting the name of that stupid fucking like party thing where you have to do the steps. Oh, is it the, I forgot to, <laughs> it's the, you know, like the, the steps, like you turn around. Yeah. So, slide one, to the left. Slide to the left. Slide one hop this right. time. Yeah. Two types. Oh, yeah, we got oh, like, copyrighted. No, I don't know. Copyrighted? Is that, is that copyrighted? <laughs> oh, I hope not. I, let's just it's start like, singing t- happy birthday because we know that's not oh, copyrighted. Yeah, that's, that's the dumbest shit. We went off on a tangent. Yeah, the we tang- did. But that's tangent. fine. It's so, you know. But what else? I was so just going to ask. You got mixed like, feelings. You got like, yeah. this is something that you want to go with, but also don't know what to do with. You think you did the right thing. By just moving on with your job, like you share this five seconds of something, yeah. you don't What's know. Sort what sort of like the acknowledgement and like inhaling eye contact of like, okay, you know, like that happened. That happened exactly. So wait, so this happened, and then immediately you were thinking like just eye contact right away, like locked eyes. Is it something like that? Like like you're acknowledging it, or is it something a little bit more? It's something like that. Sort of. Uh, I don't think she even picked up on that. Like I kind of like knew that she she did it because it sort of oh. felt like I, I i wouldn't say it's like a sense of like rude entitlement but oh. it's just sort of a small sense of entitlement mm. that like uh you know she sort of thought that she had the right to like put her hands on me and expect oh. to sort of get away with it even though oh. on the flip side it would be uncomfortable like for a girl in most cases in a male dominated environment for that to happen to her true i feel like that's where the double standard lies it, oh there we go, the double standard again. Yeah. So that is so. And true. I'm not, and I, and I'm allowed to feel uncomfortable about the you, situation you are, too, because men can be abused in any relationship, or yeah. strangers just like girls can. It's just sad thing is, it's just it's mostly girls that get it. Then. Maybe yeah. not mostly, but it's just definitely a lot more more um, aggressive cases. Aggressive, you feel like because like yes. when it does happen, it's sort of like oh, um, and I'm you know just maybe spitballing, but it's like. The male sense of entitlement is greater. Oh yeah, in that because way. that's just how the world rolls. Is just, <laughs> the way the world is just rolling. men dominating pretty much a lot, large, everything almost, and then it's just. I mean, that's just how mm. it goes. So, like, yeah, of course, sure. like they're females, or not females, but like we could just hearing stories any anywhere here and there. It's just it gets really messed up. So yeah, yeah. the double standards is really. Good point, because um, with a female, it might feel only almost entirely uncomfortable, right? You yeah. felt like maybe fifty fifty, probably. Yeah, because I feel because like... you are like oh, I don't always you know might mm. get this opportunity, and I do have this now. Should I pursue it? Yeah, and I don't know how much credence I want to lend to this. Like oh, the fact that I'm only reacting this way because I was brought up like oh, maybe like if I was shown this attention to automatically just be grateful of like the attention from a girl and also paying attention to the fact that internally, like, yeah, I do appreciate that attention. Uh, on the flip side, there's also like subtext in the, in the, uh, like entitlement maybe, or the way that it's supposed to be perceived that it's like, Oh, like touching a guy is just more of like more of a friendly thing that a girl can do anyway. That's like mm, true. Cause you don't know the full story. Yeah, because you, but I'm, she could I'm, be thinking something else. Maybe a little yeah, bit true. slightly it's, off. It's always going to be through the biases and like you don't know. I don't know if like she even remember that interaction. She might have been I, like, if, "This is it, just an extension of her personality." She wasn't like going like outside of her comfort zone. Maybe you know. Yeah, definitely not to make me feel uncomfortable. I don't. I don't. I don't well, see make, that at all. I don't think it was to make you uncomfortable. I think she was going for like, "Oh, he's gonna like this." But it could be like she could actively really think this. Like this is what mm. she's been really wanting to do. Or it yeah. could be like 50-50. It's just like spur of the moment. Like, oh, I just did it. I don't know if she yeah. remembers it. She just, that's just how she is. Or that's how she wants to show people or like show some sort of Yeah, something. that's that's true. And I, I think, uh, you know, I can't really tell whether, because if an instance like that is rare for like a guy for that to happen, like, you don't want to imagine like, oh, is she kind of the type to like show more physical contact? Yes. Like yeah. in an affectionate, like platonic way that isn't mm-hmm. like, I'm not saying that it's like bad or anything to do that, but it's like, oh, if you're kind of uh, maybe wanting to show interest, like mm-hmm. that's sort of like the more 
obvious and exclusive way of kind of doing that to some rather than just some sort of mixing of words or rather than just like laughing like like, because you know like we can talk to anybody we want like we don't have to focus our attention on one person so it's like oh if you take like the common denominator of like oh like a decent you know like portion of guys are funny and like can make girls laugh and like they tend to laugh like back and react that way so it's like you don't have to take that like anything personally or like more differently than no than like you can if you want to yeah and you can choose to like sometimes it's more obvious and sometimes it's more of a punch than a joke but yeah and it's not like a lot of people are doing it a lot like i said it's not personal like a lot of people are just living and like yeah exactly like you know having like conversations and moments and stuff like that just because one moment doesn't Mm -hmm. doesn't define your whole life yeah but like you know physical contact on the other hand Mm. is a little bit more ah yeah that's a little bit much like invasion of privacy a bit yeah so that also doesn't like consent right which this is kind of hard to tell but it's the same sort of like it's in the same realm of uh like oh it follows like approval oh yes so it's just like oh how much approval do you want from somebody who you know you are friendly with on a consistent basis but that's just like your personality like do you really want to tell somebody like you're not interested in them i mean that's yeah. obviously like up to you yes um but starts off with like level one like like maybe she mm-hmm. was just like hands and then she's like Whoop, a little bit on the back right a little bit brushed yeah, right so that's yeah. the level one so you get to choose how to react at that, right? If you want to take mm-hmm. it to level two or just leave it at level one and then yeah, throw it down to level negative two. Because <laughs> you imagine like it's so, it's going to be, it's not like it's a, like if you establish a more intimate rapport with somebody, mm-hmm. and then like it's, could... it's like the frequency of it occurs and then like avenues of like contact open up with like, if there is actually something there, then like, yeah, but yeah. obviously that's like, forward thinking it a little bit too much yeah overthinking can, that's a huge problem <laughs> and it's gonna be a huge theme on this podcast yeah. you know we're gonna be i mean we've been talking about, about this tangents. one five second experience for quite a while yeah now. <laughs> and, he, and, and this dude is empathizing with me on the level that like he's like my second half figuring out what yeah. we could do i don't know how would you feel like i would you know, just be would like oh, okay back to work i, I think <laughs> i just basically do the same thing as you um but like you did before that like you did say like um you don't forget don't forget okay yes you you said that um that you wanted oh fuck i'm forgetting no 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 wait 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 ah oh, fuck i forget anyway how i would react in this um it was basically would be basically the same thing except i would be like blushing red <laughs> <laughs> that, i tend to do that a lot uh, whether I like it or not, probably right now a little bit. I don't know if it's the lights in the studio. I don't know. Whatever. It could be the uh, just the heat. It could be the, the conversation. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but um, yeah. So yeah, I would basically act the same way, and I'll just probably lead to a little bit of overthinking. But then I would just roll back to what you were kind of saying, like, oh, it's just kind of like a one-off thing, maybe, or like that. I guess that was something I was more saying of. But it could just be a one-off thing. I might be thinking like, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? And then you just be like, no, you calm down, Chris. Mm-hmm. It's just a, a brush of the hand. And to be honest, I'll take it a step further. And I don't think I would even notice that fully, like, like fully comprehend that until like a day or two later or like a couple hours later. And I'm like, wait a minute. She yeah. did that to me? Because like. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah. I, I could be slow to catch a uh, social signal sometimes, so. That's interesting. So you kind of, like, pick something up, like, that happened in your day, and you're just like, oh, now that's, like, kind of bugging me, and then I... Now that I'm through. at my home, I'm free from that. I could just reflect, and then I reflect on that, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Bad idea, right? You yeah, know? true. Well, I don't know. I feel like we're, we're, we're nearing, like, a good end. Do you want to say any final words? It's petering out. Uh, Maybe just that... uh, I mean, not not in a bad way. I think it's a very good... Yeah. No, I'm I'm not saying it in a bad way either. (laughs) All Uh, right. 
Yeah, I don't think that, like, um, you know, having, like, a really negative reaction to it is a good idea. Yeah, I don't think so either, because, like, why are you going to have so much anger or anything, like, disappointment of something that happened in five seconds? A lot could happen in five seconds, yes, but... Uh, depends on what it is, but this is not that big of a deal to be strike anything. Any, any yeah, and it's not like something like super like invasive anyway. Especially um, in in our world, you're a guy, so it's a little bit more accepting in in most people's eyes. Yeah, um, but then it's kind of like oh, if I really wanted to express like an attitude of righteousness or something like that, yeah. I would have been I would have been like. I would just politely ask, like, oh, like, please don't touch me like that. Oh, true. You could just die like with to, that. Yeah. You could be like, oh, I, I, f- I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Actually, now that you say that, I might think of that right away. Or maybe a few minutes. Or maybe if I come against them again. Yeah, I'm definitely going to I might a... not say anything, most likely. But I might have a small chance of saying, like, ah, that made me feel uncomfortable. If we haven't, if we go back to that conversation. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And it's kind of like, oh, well, why, like, what's... You know what was really stopping me from like maybe saying that like would it just because like be because like oh i just want to you don't want to kill anything off maybe yeah it's like you know why me? why start a conflict and like why because it's also a know. negative like feeling it doesn't have to be but most people when they hear that like you're making me uncovered they'll be like what do you mean yeah get offended yeah but then again you're like, the one I, yeah you're the, offended, you're the one so yeah right counter offend uh, counter, counter, counter offend. <laughs> The counter, well, counter, ter- the counter the terrorist, like, counter offended. Yeah, the, the, basically. So yeah, I feel I feel pretty solid. I think we covered a lot of ground here. Yeah, we yeah. definitely changed the world in a in a half hour. I feel like oh totally that, like <laughs> nuclear bombs and and, and mm-hmm. politics. But we don't we don't global need... warming saved. Yeah, <laughs> we definitely don't need to change the world. We just have to like get some of the stuff out there because it's mainly a reflection it can be a bit of a parody x x kind of feeling like it's just like our experiences kind of mixed in reflection of course a lot of overthinking maybe um but this is just we feel like that a lot of other people especially guys our age uh feel this way as well because i see on like youtube comments or something Cop, most common joke, like, like say there's a girl doing something cute or something to a guy, and then the comments like, "Oh, I'm never going to get that in my life." <laughs> but then crying emoji, and I'm like, I see that so often. So I feel like there's something to be shared with the audience of like two people that are going to watch this. But something, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the two people. I mean, you know, we can, <laughs> double, be we can double, we can double the stakeholders in this operation if it's the two of us doing this. And our two audience members who can hopefully bring their parents and yeah. get like we'll get a few more, <laughs> more yeah we'll get like four, yeah. more, four more um i don't know about time hopefully this is still recording but i think we're good here yeah dude solid i don't know i don't know how to end this like handshake well <laughs> anyway. i mean i want to hear your experiences uh next time yeah uh, because same like, with you dope Ciao. <laughs> almost, almost did it to the oh, minute and 20 seconds. So that's oh, why I was like, shit, I got it. I got it. It's 28 minutes and 40 seconds. Oh yeah, this is also recording.